Hey everybody. Okay, it's time to make our uh, shake. So with the new product, Juice Plus Perform, and it says on the back that two scoops is one serving and you can mix it with 10 ounces of water or you can make it, you know, with almond milk if you want or any other kind of, um, of milk. We don't do dairy, so. But, so what I thought I would try is to try one scoop with water, which is five ounces of water to see what it tastes like that way and then make another shake with five ounces of almond milk or oat milk. So here we go. I put five ounces of water in a cup. So I'm going to put a little bit in there. Don't want it to stick all together. Then I'll do one scoop. And if you look, well, you probably can't see, but it's like got a berry looking um, look to it. And it smells like berries. Kind of like cherry, well, it's got tart cherry in it. So I'll put one scoop in. And I'll pour the rest of my water in there. And shake it up. Make sure that's closed. This is my first time trying it. I love tart cherries and it does have tart cherries in it. It's got beetroot and tart cherries for recovery and I need all the recovery I can get, believe me. Let's see. It's good. I like it. It almost tastes like a like a cherry shake or a berry shake. Anyway, it's good, so I hope you enjoy. Okay, now we're going to try it with oat milk. So we had the half of a serving, we tried it with water. Now we're going to try it with oat milk. So I'm going to use, instead of 10 ounces, five ounces, so I'm guessing at that, let's see. I'd say about maybe right there, I'm not sure. And I will put my scoop. It tasted good with the water. I mean, I really liked it, so we'll see. Now, I always put oat milk in my, uh, oatmeal in my shakes because it's good for the heart. And, you know, since I've had my pass, that's just the way that, you know, with... With all those nutrients that I'm getting every single day with all those berries and fruits and vegetables through my wonderful little capsules that I take, I know that God first saved my life, but I know that those definitely help save my life. So I always put oatmeal in there. And I actually just freeze um, spinach. And when I take things off of the tower garden, I save the containers and I'll put... Uh, kale in there. I'll put Swiss chard in there and it just freezes easily. So I just go ahead and put a handful or two in my smoothie. That way I get some extra greens in there. And that's good for everything. I mean, you know, whole food nutrition, it really does work. So do that. And I think I'll stick a banana in there this time. I never let any fruit go to waste. I just freeze it, put it in a container, and put a little piece in there. When we buy our local honey um, from a wonderful place, and I'm going to do a little infomercial here. It's from Georgia Mountain Pure Natural Organic Wildflower Honey from Harkness Farms. And Bruce is a wonderful person, and he was one of my brother's very best friend, a brother that has passed away. So we've got a connection there. And I always put a spoon of honey because, well, I've always heard that local honey helps all the way around with sinuses and whatever. So, and I just like his honey. Mm -mm -mm. It's so good. So that's all I'm going to put in there. And Let's see how that's going to taste.
It kind of has a weird looking color, but what do you expect? Oh yeah, that is good too. So between the water and the one with oat milk, I like them both. So whatever your choice is, enjoy. And if, like I said, if you want more info, let me know. Have a great day. Bye.